system is under attack. First, they target refugees, those that don't have a voice. This conservative government will move on to their next target, people on social assistance, the working poor, until we've got American-style health care. And I want to make one thing very clear. Possible that the entire health care community in Canada is wrong on this issue? No. And a bunch of... No. And a bunch of politicians that spew out xenophobic propaganda and slogans on posters have got it right? No! I don't think so. I think the moral issue has also been well made that we can't really stand to have these cuts made to the most vulnerable of our citizens and refugees. The point that I want to address particularly today is that mailing. Because I'm a resident of Saskatoon. It's true, I'm not in Kelly Block's riding, but I'm in a neighboring riding. And when you think about it, this, and we know that, it's been pointed out how deliberately divisive this particular mailing is. It's designed to set people against each other. And I was reading in our newspaper today, by remotely, about a letter from a, somebody who said, I'm very poor and I support this, why should somebody have something we don't? Rather than thinking about Yes, they need more, not less, and that the road to equality is not by taking things away from the most vulnerable. The Kelly Block and the Conservatives have not done anything to benefit the poor people in this country. So what this does, it's a distraction, and it's saying, okay, we can't do anything for you to make your life, your lives better, so what we'll do is we'll take things away from people who are even poorer than you. There, does that make you feel better? Sure! to really denounce this. This isn't the kind of Canada we want. This isn't the kind of Canada I grew up in, and it's not the kind of Canada I want to leave to the next generation. It's about who we are, and Canadians are not going to stand by. We are going to keep the focus on this, and you guys are my heroes, and it's so good to see our young doctors, and you are all extremely young, <laughs> to see all of you at this age so engaged in looking for social justice. Let's wait to treat them till they are a threat to public health. When kids have meningitis, we'll be turning.